In today's video, we'll be painting the Smoke Gray Civic Strawberry Fields Red from Rust-Oleum. Let's get started with this process. What's going on everybody? So today we're going to be painting this Civic that I bought. Uh, someone already painted it Rust-Oleum Smoke Gray, which I like how it looks, but I want to make it my own. So we're going to be painting it Strawberry Fields Red from Rust-Oleum, uh, just cheap spray paint. Um, I ended up doing the engine bay on my other channel, the Texas Honda channel. There will be a link in the description, but here's a clip of that. So we're going to go ahead and paint this. As you can see, I've already got it prepped. We've got the windows taped off and plasticed. Um, the bay is obviously painted and the wheels are taped up and plastic. I have a fan with a house filter on it. Um, as you can see here, it's like, it's like a dollar for the filter at Walmart. I uh, put it on just the back of a box fan. Make sure there's no vehicles parked right out in front of the garage so you don't want to get anything on them. Then we put this plastic here to keep the bugs out. And then I have a fan on this side as well that's sucking air out. Um, I don't want air blowing in because I want to keep the overspray down. We've got the walls plastic and the floor because we spent a lot of time making this garage nice and I want to keep it that way. Um, but yeah, it's all sanded down. Sanded it down with some 220 and then 320 grit. And then the final was just uh, wet sanding with 400 to make it nice and smooth. After we were finished with the sanding, I went ahead and wiped it all down uh, with wax and grease remover or rubbing alcohol and water mixture is what I technically use, but you can use wax grease remover, wax tar remover, um, or just Windex works just as good. And basically got it all ready. I uh, took the gas lid off and already painted that. Door jams are already done, but here's a clip of me doing some of the door jam. So I've already got these shaken. I got the respirator. So we'll get started here in a minute. And when it comes to this fender, I will slow the video down to normal speed so you can see how I do it. My technique changes. I don't keep it consistent, but it always works out in the end for me. Uh, my methods won't work for everyone. And I did want to make it clear that this is 2X, not 2K. There is a difference between 2X paints and 2K. A 2K is a two-part system with a hardener, AKA a catalyst. Um, and that'll make it really hard, very durable. So for right now, it'll just be the 2X Strawberry Fields High Gloss Ultimate, Ultimate High Gloss Rust-Oleum. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the roof and then we'll come to this fender.
right, so there it is. Took all the plastic off the floor. Um, the paint actually looks really good. This is the Rust-Oleum Paint and Primer Strawberry Fields. It's the ultimate high gloss. So this is without a clear coat. You can see it has a really good gloss finish. And you can see my reflection really well, and it is dry. So um, I didn't put clear coat over this. This is just with the 2X Paint and Primer. Now, real quick, I wanted to mention the 2X and 2K are different. With the 2K, you'll have a hardener, AKA a catalyst, and it'll make the paint dry a lot stronger and harder, and it'll resist chemicals such as gas, acetone, so on. Um, but this is just by itself without any of that on top. Now, I really like this color. It looks beautiful. The bay turned out great. Um, the only thing is I didn't have enough paint to do the hood and the front bumper and Walmart doesn't have any. They're back ordered. So who knows how long it'll be before I could get it. So I just wanted to get this video out for you guys, even though it's not technically complete, but it does look really good. And this was a fairly cheap uh, paint job. This was like $48, I believe for all eight cans. Um, I ended up doing the grill as well and the door jams. Um, I did those as well. And they turned out really good. Now, what I think I'm gonna do, because this didn't turn out exactly how I wanted it, I think I'm gonna go ahead and use the Raptor liner, um, which I have right here. It's This is the for the orange car, but I can go ahead and get the red paint for it. And I'll just use this as the base coat um, because, well, it's red. All I have to do is scuff it up. And this was not from me. This window is cracked. It's actually shattered the whole thing. Uh, the only thing holding it together is the window tent, but you can see it's broke right there. It's been like that since I got it. So just wanted to point that out. And it did have holes in the trunk, which I filled with Bondo, but I didn't do it on video because I am not a pro when it comes to using Bondo or doing damage for body damage. It's just not one of the things I'm good at. But uh, yeah, overall I'm not too terribly mad about it. It looks pretty good. And it looks a thousand times better than the Rust-Oleum Smoke Gray, which I don't mind the Rust-Oleum Smoke Gray, but I felt like this would be better and I was right. It looks so much better to me personally, and it is for me. But uh, I am probably gonna go the Raptor line route. I like textures. It's probably my autism. I like to feel the texture and I like satins more than glosses. But I thought about just leaving the bay glossy and then doing the satin on the outside. I think it would be pretty cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that when I can afford to, um, just not in this video. But uh, I wanted to get you guys some content out. You guys wanted a paint video, so you got one. And I hope it makes you guys happy. So uh, hit the like button if you liked the video. If you were very disappointed in the video, definitely hit the dislike button and let me know why in the comments below. But I'm gonna go ahead and get off here. I have to uh, get inside. It's like three o'clock in the morning. So, and it's my wife's birthday today, Cinco de Mayo. So I hope you guys have an awesome day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you didn't though, make sure to hit that dislike button. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. I prefer likes though. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the Strawberry Fields Red. But I'm going to get off here, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, God bless, stay safe, and stay awesome.